everybody. I'm just giving a little tip here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick or a technique to uh, tape the edges. You can spray everything with finish and then glue it back together once it's all finished so you, when it's all together you do not have to spray the interior uh, get all that blowback in your face and it comes out much better this way. So here we go. You get yourself a little bit of green tape okay, and some scissors. And it could be blue tape, it doesn't really matter. Just tape. And then we're gonna cut it right down the middle here. Doesn't have to be very good. Use this straight edge right here. That edge. And then what we're gonna do, if I can get it unstuck from my fingers. Attach it to the end. Okay. Bend over the tape a little bit like this here. Oops. And then you're gonna take some what is this? You're gonna take some 320, put it on a little stick, got on a hunk of maple, and just a couple times. And the reason you use 320 is because it really won't sand off or round over your edges too much but it breaks the tape nicely and there you go so when you go to spray this this will not have any finish on it so you can glue it and all the other sides are good to go <laughs> pretty neat huh so if you ever want to finish the inside of a box which is a real pain in the neck because you get a lot of blowback because of the bottoms in there and everything else uh, Go ahead and assemble the whole thing. Tape everything together on the edges. Uh, put some green tape or blue tape on the edge. And then uh, just sand it lightly with, you gotta have a block of wood so it's nice and sharp. And then you're gonna sand it with 320. Little sand job, bump, bump, bump. And it comes out pretty good. It's a little Kevinism, tippinism for you. All right, <gasps> we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, so I set my bottom in there. This is the back now, so I have to flip these over. She don't want to build it backwards. Okay, this will get slid into here. Okay, and down. This side will slide in here. And we have to maneuver things around a little bit anyway. And then we'll put this up here. Which I can't really see what I'm doing, but whatever. Okay. So now what we're going to do is going to start on one end. <laughs> and you can use this to wipe off your hands too. So now that we have everything's glued up, you don't have to rush this process at all. You got a little bit of time. What you do want to do is get as much of the glue off the joint as possible. You, get, you might get a little splooge in there. So what we're going to do is going to set one end down. And we're going to hold the top and bottom and we're going to pull. And the strapping tape is very stretchy. So you'll actually pull that joint together pretty tight. Now we're going to do the bottom. One slide first, rub it down. Okay, And you can hold your thumb on it and then pull down like this. And then just, boom, and there you go. And try to clean up as much glue from the outside as you can. Sometimes people will wrap it around with uh, rubber bands or band clamps. Here's band clamp. Band clamp. These work great too, but not for little skinny things. Uh, for super skinny little things like this, I definitely wouldn't use a big band clamp because it'll bow it. It's very strong. So what I'm going to do now is take my trusty scraper. And just go in here lightly because remember that's finished all right there it is now we're going to just let it set i'm going to try putting all these other pieces in i'm not quite sure how this is all going to work oh <laughs> that's upside down silly me so it goes like that that one goes there. Hey, look, I got a feather. It's a feather box. No. And then these. See, and they're all finished on all four sides. And there it is. Voila. Uh, that's the whole box done. This is why I pre-finish everything, because if you had to, well, if you had to spray all this and try to get uh, a good amount of finish in here evenly, uh, spray the bottom, uh, what happens is you get just tons of overspray, and it's really hard to get rid of. If you want me to make a video on how I made this, uh, let me know. Comment below, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. and show you the corner. Okay. And we'll just keep taking the tape off. Usually this packing tape doesn't stick to finish. This has actually been on here for like four days. And if you get a little glue splooge or dryness on there, you can really just take it off with your thumb and it comes off pretty good. And like I said, this tape has been on here for days and it really doesn't uh, 
stick to the finish too much. You got to make sure that you let your finish dry for at least 24 hours before you tape it on there. You don't want to be finishing it and two hours later taping it up. You actually want to let it sit for a while. And that's what we get. So there you go. Uh, my uh, little tape experiment with the uh, mitered corner thing. Uh, Pre-finished, shot everything. And uh, that's how I do a lot of things. A lot of my drawers are done that way. So, yeah. <gasps> All right, peoples. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's a beautiful beautiful day here in Humboldt County, California. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell, whatever that is. And uh, subscribe. Subscribe. You can win a butcher block. Uh, every hundred, I'm going to do it. Every hundred subscribers I get, I'm giving away a $300 ingrain butcher block. Yeah. So subscribe. All you have to do is hit the damn little button. Button. All right. This is Mr. Kevin from Humboldt Craftworks. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye. <laughs>